Welcome back. Today we're going to be addressing the top five things not to do if you have cubital tunnel syndrome. Cubital tunnel syndrome is definitely a devastating injury. Uh, surgeons want to reroute the ulnar nerve, which is insane unless you, um, it, unless it's a physical anomaly, but um, more than likely you would have experienced pain and dysfunction at an early age because the nerve would already have been placed in um, position in the incorrect uh, location in the arm. So you guys are a kid, you're jumping around, doing stuff, playing sports, all that, that would have shown up then. Generally what they're doing is these injuries show up later in life because it's a muscle imbalance. When you're overusing the flexor group uh, of the femur and flexor muscle so much that what it does is this causes, if this is the elbow joint here, I'm going to demonstrate it here at the wrist, but it'll bow slightly. And so what happens is the joint is misaligned and then therefore you're um, uh, manipulating or shifting the um, uh, cubital tunnel, therefore there's less space for the ulnar nerve to operate in, plus the ulnar nerve also gets trapped in the large flexor muscle group uh, uh, in this location here uh, that flexes the wrist, flexes the fingers, works in gripping activities, typing, holding onto a phone, uh, stirring your dinner at night, uh, holding a steering wheel when you're driving, it all affects this and then of course the dysfunction here is at the elbow creating severe pain and dysfunction as well as tingling and numbness in the ring and little finger. So he, here is the top five things. I've already made a, a video uh, regarding the cubital tunnel stretch um, and the exercises that are involved, but here are some things that people really don't think about that need to be addressed. Do not rest your forearms or your elbow on a hard surface or even a soft surface because if it's really sensitive, um, then it can actually, even something soft as like a pillow uh, uh, can actually increase the symptoms, can initiate them. It's, it's, it's really interesting that this area, because there is so little um, muscle tissue around the elbow joint, and because the space is so small, that any type of pressure can honestly initiate the symptoms um, and, you know, obviously irritate the, irritate the condition and cause more problems and obviously you want to get rid of it. So, resting your arms, like on a, a car door, um, you know, the uh, armrest of the car, when you place that on that, it's usually hard plastic. Just resting your arm there can cause it. Resting it in the window of your car can do that. Uh, resting your elbow on, on a desk at work or when you're mousing, just resting your arm, um, even on, again on a soft surface like this table is, but a hard surface definitely is going to uh, increase the symptoms. And if you notice, when you mouse, your, your, um, your forearm and your hand supinate. They rotate to an outside position so it puts pressure on the ulnar nerve at the wrist as well as the elbow. So if you're going to do that, put something soft. Terry cloth towels can help. I mean, again, usually soft or you know, soft and hard things can irritate it. But even placing your elbow off the end of the towels so there's no, there's no pressure here at the elbow joint and you may just get away with it here and mousing. If you can do full length here, okay, and mousing, and again, your arm is actually in a better position because see how your arm slopes down and then your hand slopes down? That's how you should always be when mousing or keyboarding. So that's number one. Um, do not rest your elbows, forearms on hard surfaces or even soft surfaces if you notice that it initiates symptoms. Um, do not create severe angles. Um, holding onto a cell phone, so like severe angles and flexion, when you, when you flex your elbow, okay, the flexor muscles are often so tight, so I'm going to demonstrate it on this side, are often so tight that again they'll trap nerve, the ulnar nerve in segments and hyperstretch it. Um, plus because the elbow joint is misaligned, um, when, you, when you flex severely it can impinge it not only at the elbow but also in the flexor group. So you want to avoid severe angles. So like when holding onto your cell phone, okay, or if you're doing exercises at a gym, you want to avoid these types of positions. Now if I bring my arm up further into flexion, I'm actually flexing my shoulder now, that stretches the ulnar nerve even more and can severely irritate it and it hyper stretches. So I'm just going to show you, here's the ulnar nerve. These are muscles right here. It's sliding through the flexor muscles. You may have segments of the, of the flexor muscle group that are in spasm. So what happens is as you're, as you're stretching or flexing the elbow, they get caught. So the muscle catches the ulnar nerve 
and then so as you keep bending the elbows but sliding through sliding through catches and then hyper stretches that nerve and boy does that irritate it that will fire it and um, you will have seriously increased symptoms so um, you want to avoid severe flexion also extension you hyper extend the elbow or, or straighten it um, whether it's um, straight down like holding on a bag of groceries and and it's straight down in a, in a, a straight position and um, if you let it drop and it can hyperextend slightly, you will catch and impinge the ulnar nerve because once again, the muscle imbalance is causing a misalignment of the elbow joint. Therefore, it is not riding in its correct position and, and, and the ulnar nerve is trying to ride in a smaller space. Not only that, but dealing again with this large flexor group that's causing the issue. Of course, massaging in this area, performing the, uh, the extension exercises will relieve the compression here, the tightness here, and therefore realigning the elbow joint because the extensors and the flexors are now in balance, so the joint's in balance. Um, what else you want to avoid is um, overstretching. People oftentimes are like stretching, stretching, stretching the wrists and forearms. I mean, there's, there's definitely you want to stretch because you want to stretch this muscle group. And also the ulnar nerve stretch, which I show, which is rotating the hand in, pushing the elbow out, and you're stretching the ulnar nerve right here, but you're also stretching the flexor group. That is good, but don't overdo it. People sometimes, we do it 20 times a day, and all you're doing is irritating it. Um, when this area is firing up, you want to get into your extension exercises because you're kind of doing these mini sets, um, which is, is when you fire the antagonist of the muscle group that's tight and contracted, and you, and you exercise the antagonist, you fire that muscle group, the opposing group, the agonist, has to relax. And so it lengthens and therefore will relieve the pressure on the elbow joint. So don't overstretch. Um, massage. Do not massage around the elbow joint, the bone itself, and where the ulnar nerve is. Do not massage in here. Only massage the flexor group in here. And of course, perform the cubital tunnel stretch, but that's... Uh, limited sets and repetitions and only several times a day at most so and also again sleeping resting your, your elbow and I'm gonna again go back to that because people go to bed at night I'm gonna get rid of these towels but people go to bed at night and they have serious issues with sleeping because they can't find a comfortable position on their elbow even resting your elbow on a mattress can hurt if it's if the nerve is really inflamed so what you need to do is place elbow, uh, pillows beside you so when you rest your forearm, see how my elbow joint is hanging off right here? I'm resting it, I can go to sleep, I feel no pressure. Sometimes you may wanna, you can even place it so there's two pillows, and so it's gapped in here, and so I can rest and sleep, I'm laying on my back, and, and I'm now creating a space here, so there's no direct pressure here, there's no direct pressure on the flexor group, and you are reducing um, the irritation of the ulnar nerve. So, and really, I mean, you definitely want to do things to avoid irritation, along with, of course, the um, stretch, uh, cubital, tunnel, cubital tunnel stretch, and the exercises that I show in the complete, the full uh, uh, cubital tunnel program. So, um, again, these are the top five things you don't want to do uh, if you want to um, increase your speed of recovery and get back to doing the things you love, eliminating the symptoms of cubital tunnel syndrome. So uh, thanks again, and I will um, come up with some new videos soon. If you have questions or you'd like to see me make something new, uh, let me know, and thank you.